So now we've got our sew top that we're gonna do. So top. Okay. And this is chicken. You can get turkey, you can get savory, however you wanna get. I'm gonna pull the stuffing inside. And guys, make the stuffing according to what the um uh, what the box calls for. Okay. Just make it. And I'm gonna do two boxes here. Okay. And I also like to add a little bit more seasoning to it, like sage. I do a little small paprika, a little bit more pepper to it. But remember, it comes very well, very well already seasoned. So this is our turkey. Okay. So guys, I just took the foil that it was in and I just flipped it over, okay? And I just laid it on top, okay? So it can still have that juiciness in it. So I'm just gonna let it rest. And it's good to cut it, guys, when it's cold. I mean, not cold, but well, cold works, but after it's, you know, got like room temperature just a little bit, cause we're gonna layer it like a uh, chicken parmesan. But remember, we're doing turkey parmesan stuffing, okay? As you can see, I've already cut it, okay? And it is still standing pretty good, look, pretty firm. If you need more guys, if this one is not enough, you can get as many as you like, okay? This is just the one we're gonna work with for now, all right? All righty. Hey guys, so just like a regular chicken parmesan, we're just gonna go ahead and put some sauce and stuff down. All right, so we're gonna place these. Now, if you want like the, um, the turkey gutlets or something, guys, that's a little bit larger, you can use those. Okay, but we're just gonna use this pan here. And if you want to make more than one layer, guys, please do so. You know, like I said, do you. Then we're gonna put a layer of the stuffing on. And as you can see, guys, it's not too moist, okay? It's just right, it's not too moist, okay? Now let's go in and add some of my cheeses on. Okay. Whatever cheese you want, guys, wanna use, it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. I've got the Parmesan cheese too, yes I do. I've got Parmesan cheese. Okay, guys, so we're gonna repeat this step, okay? And we're gonna add our last layer on. We're just gonna do the two, okay? Okay, guys, this is the last layer. I'm just gonna pour this on. And if you don't have marinara sauce, guys, we realize this time is spaghetti sauce. Pretty much basically about the same thing, okay? Now this time, I'm gonna put my cheese on, and then I'm gonna put my stuff in, and then another layer of cheese, okay? So uh, this one is empty. All right, put my cheese on here. So we're gonna put it back in our oven, guys, for about maybe 25, 30 minutes at the most, um, or until you feel that it's where you want it to be, okay? So what's happening now is the oven is still on from earlier. We reduced it when we took the foil uh, off the wrapping, uh, just removed the foil down so they can have a little uh, brownness on the uh, turkey tender line. So the oven is remained at the 330 um, degrees, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in and we're gonna check in about 20, 30 minutes. We'll check it in. Up, I started to cut already, and y'all look. You see the stuffing, the turkey, and the cheese. I think next time, guys, 
we'll probably use some like maybe Gouda cheese or something. Now this is on the second or third time we've done it, guys. I think the Gouda cheese is something, but well, this was on sale, y'all, so that's what we use. But you're gonna love it. I know you are going to love it, guys. Remember, this was an inspired dish that we did, but we put a little twist to it by adding stuffing to it too, okay? So again, guys, mm -hmm. this is the turkey tenderloins parmesan stove top stuffing. All right, the one pan wonder. Until next time, yeah. It's the love we share, mm-hmm, the life God gives for everyday living. We love you guys. Yeah, y'all. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all.